My name is Dan, and I can talk to animals. Essex, we're in the heart of December. Right in the heart of it. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, people are out. People are checking out the lights in the zoo. Yes. People are just spending money left and right, and they're going to see shows. They're going to one of three Chris Kindle marks. There's only, what do you mean? Oh, there's, there's only three? There's one downtown, there's one in Wrigley Field, and there's one, I think, on the south side There's one somewhere? in Wrigley Field? Yes. Oh. I've only been to one downtown. At the park, at Wrigley. Oh, because it's a thing now. Yeah, yes. wow. Huh. Never... Shout out to Wrigley Field. Yeah, they're doing they're doing stuff. Well, well done, Wrigley Field. I haven't been down to see it, but I'm sure it's good. But yes, people be shopping. People be shopping. And I also heard that people are out seeing Christmas uh, theater shows. Yes, lovely Christmas shows out there. You know, Dickens is a Christmas Carol. Mm-hmm. Mike and Marie love Christmas. It's you right know, up, all the classics. Right, right up there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, but uh, do you? How do you feel? I mean, you weren't around. I don't think last year for 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 this time of season, at least in my house. No, right. So, like, what what do you like to do during this uh, this time? Well, um, I like decorating a tiny tree uh-huh. that's proportionate to my size. Yeah. Um, with a little star on the top and little, you know, ornaments. I get them from the Builder Bear store. Oh, uh, okay. All um, right. And uh, you know, this is a, f- a funny thing. You know what gets a bad rap? What? Fruitcake. God, do I love fruitcake. Almost as much as I love caramel corn. <laughs> Caramel corn, however it's said. Yeah, you know what? I, I always that assume that fruitcake's just bad because of the, the you know, the stigma. Then people just throw right. it, just throw it on your doorstep. It's and... like if, if, you, if you put in cartoons that kids don't like to eat broccoli, then kids won't eat broccoli. But broccoli's delicious. Fruitcake is delicious. Stop... Let's let's normalize fruitcake this season. Okay. That'll be our campaign is to normalize Hashtag fruitcake. Hashtag normalize fruitcake. Hashtag normalize fruitcake. That's the cause to really that's, rally that's, around. I mean, at this time, at this point in the month, you know, you really got to focus on that. On the important things. Yeah, the important things. Hey, speaking of important things, our guest today is... Oh, good one. He's a returning guest. He's, uh, his name is Yellow, and he's a praying mantis. You can jump right up to the, uh, the, the uh, mic there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hi, 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 hi. Hello, welcome oh, back. This guy's cool. <laughs> welcome back to the show. Hi, hey, hey. It's good to be back. It's good to be back here. Now, for uh, viewers uh, and listeners, um, Yellow is a praying mantis. He was in episode 18. He was with Izzy. Uh, uh, you yes, know, I don't Izzy. know. Izzy. Izzy was. Uh, yep. He they were he was the he was kind of I'm sorry episode 19 my bad um, episode 19 it was about oh, a year God. there were people driving to work <laughs> screaming Wait, at their cars right then right, you know you got to keep it yeah they remember my episode real diehard yeah, talking wilders <laughs> real wild heads yeah, I was gonna say what do you call that wild heads? real talkins <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah so uh, we brought him on and they kind of settled the differences a little bit Izzy was uh, on the show over the summer. Um, uh-huh. And uh, he was kind of my co-host for a little bit, and then Essex kind of flew back in, and and you know he, he took over. So well, uh, this is the first time you guys are meeting. Oh, yeah. so. Yes, hello, hello, it's charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. So how's it? How how have things been for you this past year and a half? Yeah, I you know I I don't know. Um, I mean I've just been I've just been uh, just been you know <laughs> I'm prancing around you know yeah you know doing my thing. Do do just praying mantis do do praying mantises. Like, does the cold affect them as much as, like, other, you know, like, do you try to go in somewhere the warmer? Wind does. Or, huh? The wind does. The wind. And so the wind comes with the cold, and yes. the wind the yeah. wind makes it difficult uh, to, to stick on, to just to, to, to live, really. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with the cold, personally. Some some of the other Manti, they, uh, they're, they don't like it. They don't like so it. So it's Manti. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, what's a treacherous city in which to live if if wind is a problem? Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is out of all the cities. This is the windiest that's, of the cities. That's what they call it? Yeah. That's why. That's why you don't see many of us here. You know, no, we, right. we, we 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 used to be here uh, before the wind, but then <laughs> since the wind has come in, a lot of us have left. Like a... Before the wind, <laughs> was there a time in these parts that it was less windy? Oh yes, oh. yes, yes. Oh, I yeah. wasn't aware. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Just just up up to like you know maybe maybe a couple. Couple hundred years ago, yeah, I mean, you know, there was it was much less wind. It Interesting. So the story's been passed down through, yeah, mantis lore, the anti mm, yes. generation. I'm, I'm, uh, I think, I think that was maybe uh, five hundred generations ago, right, Five. right around there. Of course. Yeah. You, did you know a little fun fact? In the nineteenth century, thereabouts, 
Chicago got the nickname the Windy City, not for the breezes that flew in off the lake, but because of how much hot air these politicians were full of. Right, that's what I heard. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. I've read The Devil in the White City twice. Oh, (laughs) man. I I own it, but I have to finish it. Oh, you must. I know. Leo has the film rights. That's why I'm like, I gotta finish it. Yes, yes. You know? Because it's going to be a movie that he's going to be in and Scorsese's going to direct. Right, of course. You know. Oscar bait. Mm Mm-hmm. He hasn't done much since he got his Oscar, has no, he? No, right. He's done. He's got it. He's cashed out. He's already. Once you got it, you got it. You know? Right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. what do you? Uh, so what do you? Do you have any holiday plans, or do you do you celebrate? What, what do you do this time of year? Um, you know, just the usual. The usual. You know. Uh, you know. I I see. I see something. You know. I don't. I I take more time. Mm-hmm. Uh, which like what I'm gonna what I'm gonna devour. <laughs> Okay. Um, I take a little more time. Kind of thankful for what. Yeah, you, you know, you look at it, you collect them, you know. Hmm. Yeah, you give 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 them more time to run. Oh. that's my gift. Wow, that's a gift to them. That's, now you sound a little like you're, you have a little cold. Is that? Is that? Uh, yeah. A little congested. Well, well, like it's the wind. Oh <laughs> right. right. Oh, the wind. Yeah, yeah. I got this uh, sinus thing. My one ear is <laughs> just just clogged up. It's a lot of pressure in that ear. Oh, you do have small little ears there, just, don't you? Just one. Just one. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. I think so the, when you mentioned that your ear was clogged, you did mean one of one. Yes, that's yes. correct. A hundred percent of your ears yes. are clogged. Because yes, that's the, correct. The ear is clogged. Yes, yeah, yes. The ear. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. It's yep. right there on the top. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So, That's yeah, great. yeah, so, so just not, 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 yes. not a ton, not, not, not a ton, huh? Just kind of eating and huh? hopping pretty much the way you do then? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, uh, um, you know, so I think I think I mentioned last time um, uh, about uh, some the little meditation group I was started up. Oh, uh, right, right. Um, it's grown. It's yeah. grown. Um, we now have uh, a second date. Uh Tuesdays and Thursdays, so oh, it's growing. So it's, yeah. We got a second space. We got Whoa. a second space. So, so that's been kind of taking up my time. Great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're on the um, uh, organization administration side of things. Yeah, I started there? it. Yeah. Oh wow, I started it. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 meditation from what sort of um, uh, methodology? A, a sort of Eastern uh, approach? Uh, well, it's like a, it's a mindfulness approach. I see. <laughs> You know, um, so so it's a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, breath work and uh, just letting your thoughts pass by. Right, acknowledging them but letting them go. That's correct. Yes, of yeah. course. Also, oh, you you're familiar. <laughs> yes, yes. He uh, Essex spent uh, some summer over in in Europe. Right. So he kind of got away and I think got a you know you uh, just a real focus on himself. Right. Yes. I I. I went to the um, the Aran Islands off of the coast of Ireland for oh, a time wow. and just sort of got away from it all. You know, mm-hmm. They, mm-hmm. They, those islands each have a population of under 200 or so and just sort of uh, unplugged, you know. Mm-hmm. What a great time it was. And, of course, now here I am walking all about just looking at my phone all day. Well, we're, we're, looking, for, we're looking for some guests to, you know, come in and give some guided uh, oh. guided uh, meditation. Yes. If, you, if you'd like to stop by one of these weeks. You know, I'd love to. When I was on Inishir, the closest of the three Aran Islands to the mainland, I took a horse and carriage ride. And I learned a mantra from the, the, the driver of the, of the carriage. It was, go on, go on, go on. Uh-huh. Good. Oh, I'm from. I'm familiar. So wait, you were on the horse, or you were in the carriage? No, I was in the carriage. Oh, okay. Just, yes, just you by yourself. Or <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that must have been fun. I covered the whole fair. Yeah, it, it, it could have just been uh, one horse without the carriage because I'm small. But yeah, I get the whole experience. Feel. Yeah, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Hey, if you were, I don't know if I asked you this uh, back in uh, episode 19, but if you were a human for a day, what would you do? Oh no, I don't. Um... <laughs> Ooh. Open a door. <laughs> Open a door, huh? There's a door. You know, I've never said that before. He's asked this many times, and you're right, you're dead on. Right. 
It's I I just want to know. Right. Oh, there's this one door. It's back there. I know it's unlocked. Right. <laughs> but I I I'm just not I just not big enough. Don't have the equipment. I don't have it. You can hop underneath it though, or through uh, the keyhole or something, right? Isn't it? Yeah, I can. It's it's sealed pretty good. If the keyhole is like Victorian. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. More you get the more of the satisfaction of opening the door, right? Is that what oh, probably it's about? Well, I mean, I can. I don't. I, I can, there's a specific. There's a specific shed door I want to. Just oh, I see. Yeah. There's one you've been eyeing. Like yeah. the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mostly so I can get a little more light in there. Um, it's a little dark in there. So yeah, sure, oh, I can crawl so underneath you can it. Go <laughs> in or out of the shed, but it's more a light thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, because if it's, I mean, it just for a day, right? I need to think about things that are going to make my life, my day, my day to day life as a as a mantis right. better, right? So if I became Setting a human. Your Self up yeah, I'm later. just setting things up, you know. Yes. You know, I, I probably also just like, you know, I don't know, buy a buy like a bush to put in the shed, you know, just think some things, give myself some just things that are, up. yeah, you know. That's probably how I spend you know, my time. You've asked that question a number of times, and there are plenty of insects or small birds or, or rodents who who will say things like, "I'd like to go to the beach or um try cotton candy," but. Things as simple as opening a door or um, uh, cooking food. You know, we take these for granted. We, of course, meaning humans. I, I am sort of a human ally, but... Yeah, you do yes, a lot of it's human simple things. things but... Tying a shoe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, turning a key. Mm-hmm. Well, that'll sound great. Giving it a thumbs this up. This season, in addition to normalizing fruitcake, let's all take a moment... To be grateful for things like opening doors. Amen. Amen. You've got the hands, you can open the door. Hashtag. Normalize uh, fruitcake. And hashtag open the door to your heart. Good one. Yeah. No. <laughs> we'll stop seeing too, that. It's too long. Trending on Twitter. It'd be a two. Use the, use the actual open two. Open the door, number two, <laughs> your, and then emoji to, heart. <laughs> to your, and then You heart. are. You are. Yes. So there you go. It brings it down. Yeah. Did you everyone use two, get that? 280 characters now, so you can... Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I, I heard they were increasing it. I didn't know they actually did it. Yes. Yeah. I think that's. I think it's across the board. It, was, I was, it took me long enough to type 140. Right. Yeah. I didn't know do you, t- you tweet? Yeah. How? <coughs> How do you tweet? No, but like you have a phone? <laughs> I know. See, it's... Yeah. Oh, no, I, okay, I, I don't know. Okay, I, okay, well, it's not my phone. Okay. All um, right. But I have access to a phone oh, sometimes. Okay. Um. And um, I... You set up your own account. Okay, hold well, on. Well, yes. Well, <laughs> I must know details. So, okay, okay. So when I'm around and I see someone, you know, will leave their phone, like, next to them on the table or something, right? So I don't have time. So I'll be able to hop onto their phone and um, activate it. Um, and um, because uh, with my... my, he- my apparently, uh, my head is capacitive. Um, and we'll we'll activate the sensors on the phone itself. Huh. Right. Um, so, what I found is um, I do have my own Twitter account. Um, however, um, it takes too much time to log in and log off. Sure. So I just tweet from whoever's account is on that phone. Okay. And if, they, and if they don't have a Twitter, it's you know it's Facebook or something else. Sure. You know? But I just, you just want your voice out there, yeah, whether yeah. or not it appears as as though it's yours. Well, yeah, yeah, you know, right. you know. Um, you know. So, like, what's an example? Like, you you used say uh, some humans Facebook. Mm-hmm. What what's something you might have said from like Daniel's Facebook here? Well, you know, just like uh, you know, weather sucks today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's something a human would say. Right, right. right. So well, then, of course, to the world or yeah. his circle, it looks as though yeah. Dan tweeted or Facebooked yeah. Yeah, yeah, weather yeah. sucks today. Uh-huh. Yeah, so if you ever see a weird Facebook uh, thing, it's it's not me. So, mm-hmm. so... <laughs> Another one so was... So all of your posts have been done by bugs? Is that what you're saying? Oh, the bad ones. I see. Are all, okay. I can blame it on the <laughs> I bugs. I think those are the good ones. Was a good one. So I think another one I did uh, last week uh, was um, uh, uh, re- having a real hard time digesting this cricket. <clears throat> and you did that from a, a human, a yeah. human's profile. Oh yeah, it was this this uh, this pretty pretty girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. And so to her friends, it appeared as though she had said, I, "I'm having a hard time digesting your cricket." Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. if people want to see your random tweets, where would they go? 
Oh, oh, no, just, 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 you know, uh, you know, I know you're, 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 uh, you're directing me, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, you just gotta, you just gotta look up the, uh, hashtag, uh, um, um, Manti Manti. Oh, so it's a, it's a common hashtag. Yeah, uh, that's how you find me. I figure it's quicker. You just yeah. gotta look up the Manti Manti hashtag. people are saying Manti Manti? Nobody. Uh, nobody. So it's you. You may say Manti once. Right. But if you double that up. Right. Because it's already plural. <laughs> yeah. As we've if, if you double that up, you and know, like. Like, that's Manti, M A N T I, Manti. M A N T I, yeah. Like Mantis without the S, okay. Right. Twice, yes. Manti, Manti. Yes. Yeah, so, so anytime you see that, that's me. And I, you know, um, there's a couple people who you know you may see pop up a couple times, right? Uh, you know, but uh, that's because you know I have access to their phone. <laughs> there's one uh, Manti, Manti. It's a, it's a, it's a girl with a uh-huh. woman with a hat, and she's got a daughter. They're so it's yeah. just supreme, both smiling. supremely. Uh, unique. No, I took that photo. Oh, you did? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Okay. I I took that photo. That's great. Yeah. Wow. It's a great Um, shot. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of... And you had to use your head... As a capacitor yes. for for touching the screen, so so you had to sort of eyeball it and then take yeah. a stab at it. Yeah. Um. Uh. Luckily, that one they already had it set up on a GorillaPod. Ah. Um, so and, okay. You know, uh, and like the one we have here in the studio. Uh, hey, similar. Yeah. Okay. Very very similar to that one, um, <laughs> but a little little shorter. Um. And uh, you know they they uh you know looked like they needed some help, so I uh. <laughs> Huh. Took it and well, if you want him. to see that post uh, yourself, just go to Twitter and hashtag, hashtag Manti Manti. Manti Manti. There can't be many more than that, right? Uh, there's a few more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's 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 all in Spanish. The other ones though, so oh, perhaps you Monty just, means something in Spanish. Yeah, it could be. It's all from this uh, one group, uh, Mundo. Uh, yeah, I don't know who that guy is. Talun, though. Yeah, so yeah. I really, really Tayon. tremendously hope it's not something offensive. Uh, well, all of yeah, all the yeah. Well, I'm not being offensive. No, of course. No. So hashtag Manti Manti. Yes. Hashtag, hashtag normalized fruitcake. Normalized fruitcake. I'm gonna type that in and see if we got anything from okay, that. What do we got? <laughs> normalized. This is a, the the regular segment we love to do called checking hashtags. <laughs> Uh, my name is Dan, and I can check hashtag. Uh, normal should kick is nothing, but we have nice. ha- hashtag. What was the third one? It was like... I don't remember. Uh, it was something door-related? Nope. Oh, yeah. Mm. Open the <laughs> yes. door to your heart. Your heart. Open the door, number two, you are emoji heart symbol. Oh, there's one. There's one. <laughs> There's one from three years ago. I someone, can't believe it. someone tagged, "Open the door, dear." I can't even believe that's a thing. And it's an Instagram picture of just a heart on a door. If you're, if, if you're, uh, the door. that's the door I'm trying to open. There we go. That's the door to the shed. There's the that's door. The shed. Oh. Everybody who's watching this uh, that's the door. Full on circle. the second wind collection oh site, God. you can go see. Ahead and throw that on the website. <laughs> Oh you can my. see it. Uh, but, hey, join the others with open the door to your heart. Um, that that original post, that was that Instagram? It was on Twitter, now, but it was a link to Instagram. Now, my, my real question about that door, that looks like a double door with a heart. Right. Now, would you break the heart by uh, opening the door? And turn it into a best friend's necklace? Yeah. <laughs> What I think he, I think you just meant opening one of the cabinets that would break the heart. Wouldn't yes, it? right. Oh, right. but you you, you, need to you know it. those necklaces? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but. that's that's all. Oh, yeah, like, like a friendship, like yes. like like those doves from Home Alone. Right, the turtle doves. Yes, Mr. Duncan. Yes, he let dun- him have two for the price of one because two turtle doves. That's great. Wow. We did bit- you know that the French word for pear tree? No, rather the French word for partridge is pear tree. So. That that song was originally in French, and so this the the word perdri is partridge. So that's where they got the English translation partridge in a uh. pear tree, because perdri sounds like pear tree. Wow. Okay, I didn't yes. know that. And there's your fact of of the episode. This is the segment we like to do called Essex facts. Essex facts. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, Essex goes into detail on Christmas tune facts. Uh, and before and before we end the episode here, uh, Essex does have I think was he have one of these audio books is is holiday related, right? If I, I got this, oh, sure. I, I got this uh, playlist here. I think one of them uh, it just says one two D O C. So this is twelve. Oh, the twelve days of Christmas. Is that what? It is? So is it yes. just? Is you... I did a spoken word interpretation of that song. Oh, okay. Cool. I just started. You see, here's the thing. 
Have you heard the a cappella version, the, the straight no chaser version? They keep it interesting is the point. They don't linger on every day. It's it's a repetitive and and yeah. terrible song, honestly. And it's full of birds. <laughs> it's a it, song it full really of birds. Is. And then hired help in the latter half. Yeah. <laughs> Maids are milking and lords are leaping. I guess lords aren't hired help, but um no, they're leaping. But they keep it interesting. They change it up. So I took a, a page from their book and just went from five golden rings down. Oh, okay, that cool. That was as much as I did of the song. Uh, but it was spoken. Should we, should we just play it? Yes. Or, okay. Five golden rings. Four calling birds. Three French hens. Two turtle doves. And a partridge in a pear tree. Now I noticed in the the background of that you had like a little like cackling fire, like you right, like you're. Yes, it was cackling. Yeah, you know, mm. kind of like you know, just a little mm, yeah. little fire going. That was, that, that, nice, that really, really atmospheric nice. touch. Thank you. To it, you know? <laughs> yes, yeah. it was a cackling fire. It was both was popping and, and hissing like a firewood, but it also had the sort of um, uh, wicked witch laugh. Well, did I use the wrong term? Is that yes, the... I'm not sure cackling's <laughs> ever been used to describe a fire, but you nailed it on this one because this <laughs> fire happened to be both yes. <laughs> popping and cracking. As well as cackling. And if anybody was wondering, there Have is. Have fun making that <laughs> trap! <laughs> if there, uh, there is no hashtag for cackling fire. Hashtag so. crackle fire. <laughs> Crackle? Uh, Cackle. Crackle. <laughs> Crackling. That, damn it. <laughs> it should have been. That was one letter. You missed up. it. Well, uh, I think that's another episode in the books for Talking Wild with Dan. Um, do you have anything to, to promote before we head out here, Yellow? Um. Um, do hmm. you have any upcoming classes or anything? Well, I, Tuesday, Thursday, I promoted mid episode, like that. Yes, oh, right. okay. All right. All right. All right. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna teach one? I'd love to come. Yeah. Yes, to 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 do a guest spot. Yeah, yeah, do a guest spot. I'd love to. Uh, so come come see, come see him do a guest spot here. <laughs> Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right in North yeah. and Western in Chicago. Yeah, North and Western. Okay. Yeah, yes, there's I know a, where that is. Yeah, um, there's a park over there. <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, Essex, anything that you want to repromote? Even though yeah, we- you know, um, I I raised over. <laughs> Twenty dollars during November, oh. so I've since shaved off my noticed, my mustache. I, know, I noticed that. Um, and and of course, I'd like to plug Mike and Marie Love Christmas at the mm. Laugh Out Loud mm-hmm. Theater on Irving and Lincoln, give or take. Now, I, now I'm willing to bet that that show that's Fridays in December, right? You know, I tell you, it's Fridays in December, which means you've got three more chances, right? I, you know, you if so- of course you live in Chicago or or. or L- loving the idea of flying out here. <laughs> some would think that it would end right before Christmas, but you have one more show. Some might think that, but you know, when you book a show through a theater and they offer you every Friday in December and you say yes, that includes every Friday in December. You mm. know, y- 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 just because right, the Christmas right. is over doesn't mean that you can't still... Uh, you know, uh, the 29th is when everyone's still taking back all the gifts they didn't want. So it's still Christmas adjacent. Christmas adjacent. It's right there between Christmas and New Year's. Cool. All right. Well, everybody, tweener. anybody who's listening and wants to go to the show, use the coupon code Normalize Fruitcake. <laughs> yeah, they'll uh, surely offer or uh, honor that. And we'll see, you know, we'll, we'll see what, uh, what happens. Right. Tell them at the door. When you're at the door, tell them normalized fruitcake mm-hmm. and tell them Essex sent you. Yes. And They'll give you a very knowing look and say, right this way, sir or madam. <laughs> Great. Uh, this is another episode Great. of Talking Wild Dan. Thanks, uh, Yellow, for being on the show again. Yeah, yeah, uh, of course. It was course. fun. Uh, I think we're going to hop up over here. Um, mm-hmm. We are a podcast on Second Wind Collective, but we're not the only one, so make sure to check out all the episodes there. We're also on iTunes and Spreaker and pretty much wherever you get your uh podcasts uh if you have any questions or are you and if you're an animal that wants to be on the show email me at dan at second wind collective uh dot com or uh just send the facebook page uh, a message um or post on our wall or something like that if anybody has any drawings of essex in a leather jacket uh by all means send still them, waiting on those send, <laughs> send them our way um and we'll you know we'll promote them put them up and uh it might even be like a 
ep- the picture for an episode for a day or something. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, everybody, uh, I'll see you next week for a full episode. And uh, if you want to watch this episode, uh, we are uh, recording it. So check it out online. And Must uh, be uh, thrilling. On our YouTube channel <laughs> and our Second Wind Collective site. You know, it, it's good to see, you know, the clean shave in Essex. And you can actually right. see a, a, a microphone with like a praying mantis on the top. Yes. It. It's, a, it's a fun visual. So, all right. Thanks. Thanks.